Okay, we're getting there folks. A um, couple other things we need to do. I'm going to put another little fold out front here. These folds are pretty easy to do. They're not that difficult to do. Just, you know, just make sure you make it nice and deep and put them in proportion of what you're doing. Okay, and then we're going to put a little fold here yet. Off, one over here, a little one. All right. And if you want to put a little turn to it, that makes it really, really nice. It's a little turn. See the difference versus straight? Just kind of follow it down and around like so. And then I'll bring this one up a little bit. There you go. Alright, that's enough of the folds, I think. Um, let me see how I did. Yeah. I'm going to put just a little one there yet. Now, the last thing we've got to do, let me go get, of course I didn't have them right with me here, bear with me for a second. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little uh, beard on our, using a micro uh, tool here. Now, let me just explain what this is. These are dioxide. Um, little tools you can see how teeny tiny they are very 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 small okay you can tell how small they are and these are super they're not super long this one's um this one is one of the <clears throat> smaller ones that I had purchased. Let me use my little hefty strop here and just take it on either side and a little bit down the center and okay now one thing I'm going to do and I have talked about this before is using a <laughs> okay I'll be okay here folks. Um, one thing I use is a mixture of rubbing alcohol and water. The reason I use that is to soften up the wood. The alcohol helps dry it, but you want to use it sparingly. Uh, the ratio that I use in this is 50% water, 50% uh, of 50 water, 50% rubbing alcohol, and I use the 70% uh, strength rubbing alcohol. You can buy it at any Walmart uh, in the pharmacy department or pharmacy or you should get it at any, any store in the pharmacy department. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to just take it, we're going to spray 
the face a couple of times, maybe three or four times. And we're going to take our little V tool. Now what I normally do, um, let me take that little mark off there from that pencil. If you don't take that off, well it's going to be brown anyway. Oh, I forgot one thing. We forgot to do his uh, lip down here. We're going to make this a little deeper. Just like so. Okay, make that nice little triangular cut so it's nice and deep. And then we're going to put a little lip on it, under it. Let me do this back here because I just can't see it where it is. And now that I sprayed it, it's even a little harder to see it. Because when you spray this stuff, you're not going to see a lip. Okay, right here. I don't know if you can see that. I just put a little stop cut going across. Just like so. And then I took my knife and I cut underneath up to that. Okay, that came out really nice. Like it should have. And one thing you want to do is just be real careful. Uh, cutting that out. You know, try not to pry it out if you can. But uh, that looks pretty good. I'm going to clean that up a little bit, but I'm going to show you. Let me just finish that here right now because um, that way I don't have to fuss with it later. Alright, now we sprayed it. It should feel damp yet. What you want to do is you want to take your little V-tool. Let me make sure I have this in. Okay. Take your little V-tool and you want to go towards the nose a little bit. Okay. Same thing over here. You just want to take little strokes. Alright. And then what I usually do is I go turn it around and I go the other way. Okay. I don't have a lot to work with here folks. It's very very small amount of space and so I'm trying to show you exactly how it's done. Let me take that back here because I took a little bit too much off there. Okay, I fixed it by just going down through the center. Okay, we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to, we're going to try to keep this in focus for you. Okay, and we're going to You really have to be mindful how the grain is running. Um, I'm going to do this back here because I just, it's just so hard there to see it. All right. So what you do is you go up one way and then you turn around and go the other way. And the same thing with the beard. So let me go take another one. These things are a little bit dull and I'm not sure why. But we're going to go with another V tool here. That one's just not grabbing right. Okay. Um, all right. So here we go. We're gonna do a little bit, little cuts towards the um, towards the lip there. Now, folks, you want to be very careful uh, when you do this because what happens a lot of times is the force you're gonna hit those prongs right into the lip. See how I have my thumb resting against this? Let me back this up a little bit. See how I have this, my thumb resting against this? You want to be really careful when you do this. I can't stress that enough. Just take your time. Just take your time. Don't, don't rush it. Um, I'm rushing it because I, I have a time limit here. And I shouldn't allow that to rush me, but it does. I'm ever mindful of when the tape's going to run out. And um, what I do is I do the edges first. Everybody has a different way of doing it, and that's fine. This is just my way of doing it. You have a lot of control. So what am I really pushing with? I'm pushing with this part of my hand. Okay, and then I'm holding.